It's time to check out the top 10 Minecraft mods for Minecraft 1.18.1 for the latest Caves and Cliffs update. Let's get into the video. Number 10, Multi Beds. This mod adds some different beds with a range of unique customization options to tailor them to your needs through the use of 16 colors, which are different, and 16 varying logos, which can be mixed and matched with each other. There are so many options to customize with this mod, along with a ton of survival recipes to craft everything. There are also different shape types for the beds such as the classic bed, the slab, the rustic bed, the cot, the modern bed and the vintage bed for an example. There's even the MC Painter editor which lets you create your own custom logos or edit the existing ones to use as a pattern design. Standard vanilla beds in Minecraft are also simple but very bland. This mod makes beds really fun and it's a big upgrade. Number 9 Mr Pineapple's Toy Guns This mod is an extension add-on for the Mr Crayfish Gun mod which will add a toy gun and a set of dot ammo to the game. This toy gun, inspired by nerf guns, can be customised with various attachments from stocks to different scope types, silencers and more, just like the main weapons can in the original mod. For a more playful style and to make some toy wars, check out this mod for some nerf gun action. Number 8 Buddy Cards With all the boom of Pokemon cards becoming popular again, Buddy Cards is a cool mod that will add collectible cards that can be discovered around the world in vanilla loot chests or through different means, such such as from piglin bartering, defeating in-game bosses, or as a small chance from killing specific mobs. You can combine three duplicate cards with leather to make a storage binder. The core mod has three sets of cards which are each based upon the three main dimensions, the overworld, the nether and the end. Using a mixture of spare cards, iron and lapis, you can make buddy steel to make medals, grading sleeves and more to empower card sets or judge the quality of the cards that you have. This is a really unique mod that will be great for card collectors and players wanting something fresh and out of the box. Number 7 Entropy Chaos Mod A long time ago I made a video, Minecraft, but every 30 seconds the game tries to kill me. Well that video is basically the same as what this mod is. The mod adds a different chaotic random event that will be triggered every 30 seconds, which will be picked from a pool of 70 different events including meteorite rains, extremely dense fog, inverted colours, randomised armour, ultra zoom, no item drops, slippery blocks, random teleportations, arrow rain, low gravity, inverted controls, upside down visuals, changes to in-game physics and so much more to just cause some pure mayhem in the game for a true surprise. Number 6 Lightman's Currency Adding 6 different coin types to the game which are based on vanilla ores, this mod lets you trade such coins on multiplayer as well as use them in trading machines that can be in place in order to sell items in exchange for money, adding the possibility to make player built shops on modded servers. There are even different sized wallets to store your wealth without having to cluster your inventory space. This mod aims to add a simple money system to the game with multiple ways to show off your wealth as well as conveniently store it easily. There's also unique features like pay gates that allow entry via redstone doors in exchange for money, configurable money drops from monsters, chests that spawn with coins, the crafting and melting of coins in the coin mint, wandering trader support for coin trade and two brand new villager types that you can spend your money at. Number 5 Nameless Trinkets Adding a variety of different new and unique trinkets that each have a different effective ability you can utilise in different situations, this mod will have you find those special items in structure spawn chests when exploring the world or craft them from materials instead. Using the shift key you can then view the ability that the trinket will provide. There's a total of around 25 plus unique ability trinkets that should reach different different to one another, giving bonuses to damage or letting you heal from damaging mobs for an example. There's so many different bonus abilities that these trinkets give you that makes them worthwhile collecting. Number 4 Winged Elytra are useful but they're very limited in their scope and how you can use them. With winged you can use a range of permanent wings in Minecraft to fly around the world with. Each of these wings have amazingly colourful beautiful patterns on the back of them that make them look amazing when worn on your back. You can find cores of flight in the end city or broken cores of flight that you can then repair with slime and diamonds within other structures 
structures and locations such as in buried treasure, dungeons, mansions or mineshafts. With some wings being dropped in game, you can also craft a lot of them with various materials and you can remove them from your back with a special craftable blade if you decide not to use them anymore. Number 3 Hyper Lighting This mod adds a plentiful range of useful lighting sources to Minecraft which have different purposes in different situations. There's everything from tiki torches, underwater lanterns that work in the water, candles in a jar which will provide dynamic light wherever you move, solar powered fence lights with remote switches, buttons that emit light, fluorescent battery powered diable lights, unclear glass that doesn't let light in and solar panels for a power source. Almost all of these brand new lighting pieces can be right clicked with a dye to dye their colour and change it and some will emit coloured lighting based upon their colour if you pair this mod with the RGB lib mod. Number 2 Spellbound Enchantments For some extended enchantments use this mod to add 27 new enchants including 8 weapon enchants, 8 armour enchants, 3 for tools and 8 for your entire kit. Some examples include Impersonal, a weapon enchant that will let you teleport behind an enemy in order to overwhelm them quickly. Repulsive, an armour enchant that will push nearby enemies away from you in order to deflect some projectiles and be slightly safer. Dullness, a tool enchantment that performs in the opposite way to sharpness that will prevent you from hurting mobs and pets when mining. Legacy, a universal enchantment, will leave behind a book which contains all of the enchantments of any broken weapon or item when its durability reaches zero and it breaks, and so much more useful enchantments that generally improve the game and make your life much easier. This is a really nice quality of life mod. Number 1 Flytra's Gun Mod Boasting over 50 new guns, including ARs, sidearms, slime guns, snipers, shotties and the vault, this weapon mod adds some reloadable weapons, some with fully auto and semi-auto firing modes which you can alternate using the M key. There's a custom new block which is the workbench which will let you use this in the mod to craft weapons. The weapons have some fun particles when you hit enemies and there's elements on the hood which displays your ammo count, with weapons having a really nice scope when aiming in with them. This mod takes some clear inspiration from the Mr. Crayfish's gun mod as the interface of the workbench is quite similar but is still a really unique mod in its own right that deserves some attention and it's worth playing with. And that concludes the top 10 Minecraft mods list for 1.18.1. There's some really nice unique different mods in here to choose from and they're really fresh and different to a lot of the other mods that we've seen in the past. Comment below which was your favourite mod out of the 10 listed in this video and also let me know about any new mods for this recent update which I didn't cover in this video. As always all of the links to download them will be in the description below. YouTube says 97% of you are not subscribed so if you enjoyed the video make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications and slap the like button for more Minecraft mod videos like this one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.